Hello, hello, hello. Let's get this going. Bring our audio back. Good evening, everybody. We're going to actually start playing. Oh, man, I hate how Pathfinder, as soon as you click out of the window, it hides the window. All right, let's get everything situated. Got a fresh drink. Oh, my headphones are... My headphones have decided to turn off. Don't really know why. All right, we are ready. All right, let's get started. We are going to normal difficulty. We don't want companions to level up. We're going to make a custom character because we're going to make our we make our character from Kingmaker. Got a custom portrait for her. I've already been through this, so I hopefully we'll make character creation a little quicker. We're gonna be a grenadier. Uh, we're gonna be human. Uh, and now. She is going to be a scholar. No, she's going to be an acolyte. This lets her use her wisdom instead of charisma when doing persuasion checks and gives her lore religion as a skill. And then we're going to give her 16 dex, 18 intelligence. 14 Wisdom. Pretty close to my other character. My original, my Kingmaker character. I would sacrifice some Charisma in order to boost my Int some more like we could go like this and like this and then we could do that but in order to get that to 20 i would also have to do that and lower wisdom we could do that but honestly uh, i don't want negatives she's very smart She's pretty dexterous, average constitution, strength, and charisma. Uh, missing some points. Oh, and she's a little... She's got some wisdom. I'll help her with... Uh, and then she's going to pick up trickery because we need somebody... I, I always... I know I will always be in the party. And when I'm in the party, I want to be able to pick locks. Um... We're going to have uh, Knowledge Arcana, Knowledge Religion, or Lore Religion, Perception Persuasion, and then the last point, I'm thinking Use Magic Device was pretty handy in Thingmaker for her, but I think this time we're going to go, because I've kind of got an idea for her in my head, Wondering if stealth. I... No, she's not a super stealthy person. She is. She doesn't have stealth there, but she is gonna know the world. No nature. We're not gonna do nature. We're gonna leave off athletics. She's not athletic or mobile. Not unless I need it for something. Um, I need some music. Okay. Sorry. Um, next. Okay, she's going to focus on bombs. She loves her bombs. And we're going to get extra bombs. I think that's still a thing, right? Yeah, extra bombs. We're, we're, we will be getting point blank shot as her next thing. But for now, I want more bombs so I can... Make sure I can throw them. Okay, for spells, we're gonna get Bomber's Eye. We get our, we get Cure Light Wounds. Uh, 
I had fun with uh, enlarge person and reduce person and shield. And then we're going to get targeted bomb mixture. Thanks for fighting a single enemy. That'll be good. Um, I never used fire belly in the last game. And I'm going to be honest, I'm going to get a mod to dismiss, auto dismiss stuff. I don't know, that dismiss spell is, oh, you must be out of combat. So it's only for an out of combat thing. So I'm not going to worry about that. We're, we're going to get true strike in case we have to hit something. Because all of these currently only work for me. Now, I was, I'm, this is, this is tough for me. I'm not, I have not looked into the mythic paths other than knowing which ones there exist. I'm kind of having an idea, but I don't really know where I want her to be. But as far as the deities, I like this Nethys for the lore, but the favorite weapon is quarterstaff, which isn't great for what I want for this character. So let's look and see, because I think if your favorite weapon become you become proficient in it. She's got martial proficiency, so I doubt anything in here is really going to matter. She's going to be using a bow, crossbow or a longbow. Okay, there's favored weapon longbow. I think it's funny that the the little tooltip about what alignments they are is only when you're hovering, not when you have it selected. So neutral good, lawful neutral, lawful good. So it's on the the good lawful side, which seems like where I want her to be. But I sort of. That's super lawful, but uh, she's not going to use a flail. Gorum, this is not going to be an evil run. Light of the Sword and Lady of Valor. Long Sword, nope. Yeah, I picked these things mostly for the... Ooh, Falchion and Kukri. Nethys was the quarterstaff. I like Nethys because it's neutral. It's got like lawful neutral, neutral good, neutral. To, you know, why is my. What is going on with my headset? I think my. I think my USB cable is. Uh, what the heck is going on? Let's see. Might just have to take it off. Okay, give me another. Okay. I liked it because the lore of gains enough power to witness all things. Like she's all about knowledge. And he is a god of magic torn between destroying the world in one hand and saving it in the other. And that's like her two hands full of bombs. Uh, too evil. Orasmus kind of cool too. Uh, now evil. Scimitar. All good. But since we're. All right, I'm gonna stick with my gut. I'm gonna go with the with Nephis. We're gonna go neutral. Good. Okay, we're going to put neutral good. I can see you're going neutral good to chaotic neutral. But actually, I don't. I see you're being neutral good to lawful good. Start with neutral good. Okay. And then for her appearance, 
we want hairstyle. Play the red like this to go with our portrait. There you go. Um, her skin tone is fine because they really don't have their pale skin tones, which is what she would be. It's a little too sickly pale. Yeah, it's not too bad. We'll go with how's that one look? I want the kind of more sickly. I've been inside studying. Uh, what's kind of hard to tell body types. Yeah, she's pretty skinny. Okay, face. Let's look close. We can't really zoom. We're not going to see your face. My gosh, this headphones. Okay, we're just going to take them off for now. And find out what's going on with them later. Unplug them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Turn them off. Plug them in. We'll let them sit there for a bit. And we'll go into our AFK channel over here. Okay. So, uh, for her face. No, her face is a little more stern. Oh, not that we're ever that close. A little too elf-like, what I'm thinking. A little too evil. Young. There we go. Okay. And then her colors, as we see... Uh, uh, she has no, no war paint. <laughs> no, no work. Okay. But her colors from her portrait are blue. A blue. Okay. A trivial task. And I think she's I feel gonna faint. Let us bide our time. Let us be careful. My skills exceed yours. My skills exceed no contest. Aim carefully. I feel faint. Okay, so it's either that one or this Unexpected one. Unexpected outcome. What a find. This will hurt. All according to plan. All according to plan. I'm wounded. No, I, I think failed. We're going to go with reserved. Okay, her name is Saitra. And she was born on the 13th day. Uh, how about the 11th day of the 7th month? Let us be careful. Okay. Let's go. Baphomet's cultists have not the slightest idea who Baphomet really is, let alone any in-depth knowledge of his ideology or philosophy. The Encyclopedia Gloriana. I don't want to turn this a little bit. Make way, coming through! <laughs> oh, hey, me. somebody! We got a wounded fighter. Can we get a healer over here? We get a healer over here. Okay. My, my, would you look at this. But why would you drag a wounded fighter into the middle of the festival square? Couldn't she be carted off somewhere else like, oh, I don't know, an infirmary? Or an accommodating ditch? I like this guy already. Make room, everyone. Step back. Now, what's the matter? What happened to her? The wound looks nasty. Who did this to her? Demons, prelate. We found her barely alive outside the walls of Canabris. Canabris? The walls, you say? Enemy doesn't usually stray so close to the city. Must fortify the defenses. And you, hold fast. I got Don't that cool die. Scar. We'll see you right. 
to get you patched up now. But first, you there, guard! Take her weapons. Bearing arms is not permitted during the festival. But I brought Wounded fireworks. or not, everyone must abide by the rules. She can get her things back after the festival. No, not after the festival. Oh, inheritor, leader of our troops, the sharpened edge of our blades and the unyielding strength of our armor. Iomade, I beseech you, grant your mercy. Heal her wounds. I can't give up that easily. Here, here. That's the Crusader spirit. My powers are not <coughs> enough here. Someone call for Terendalev. You then. Yes, Terendalev? you stop dithering and gawping and make yourself useful. Go and get Terendalev. Uh, Terendalev? Prelate, surely there is somebody else here better suited to running errands. Oh, I like her already too. Terendalev! Has anyone seen Terendalev? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like the idea of, uh, you know, like, I told when my daughter was really little, and you'd say, you know, hey, go tell mom that we need something. She was just turning and yell to mom. That's what uh, Sayla just did. Be quick about it before it's too late. Now, who are you? I don't remember seeing you before, and I have an excellent memory for faces. I'm Sytra from the Stolen Lands. That's the first I've heard of that name. Who are you then? What's your business in the city? Lady Sytra, my mother, she, she, she rules the Stolen Lands. I was here as an emissary. I was attacked by demons. That's my, my backstory. Dear prelate. Please, for the sake of the festivities, stop interrogating this poor woman. She has been through enough Sight already. Junior. Go on. I'll take care of her. Trendelev? Why does Trendelev not get a portrait? She's right there. <laughs> All right, as you wish. You are our protector and a dragon at that, so I shall defer to your wisdom. Whoa. But be on your guard. I've been informed she was wounded near Canabras. That means the demons are prowling just outside the walls. And the city is crawling with their spies. Others may be able to relax on this holiday, but not you or I. Not the defenders of the city. We can't, we can't have a holiday. Pry loose the grudging grip of pain. Beautiful silver-haired woman leans over you. She seems ageless. Her face wholly unwind. But centuries-old sadness to leans around. Repel the skulking shade of death. Good grief! There. Oh, thank you for helping me. I accept your thanks, but my work is not yet done. Are you really a dragon? You don't believe me. Perhaps I should retake my true form and engulf this square with my ice breath to win your trust. <laughs> uh, what? Pay no mind to my current guise. I appear this way when I, I walk among the people. I would hamper the festivities if I tried to attend in my true form. Ah, okay. Um, what happened to me? I do not know yet, and that troubles me. I am not entirely sure what the demons did to you. This wound is no ordinary injury, and it was inflicted by no ordinary weapon. I have rid you of your pain and restored your strength, but only time will allow you to heal fully. Uh oh, got an unhealing wound. Um, well, who are you other than your name, Terendalev? My name is Terendalev. I am the protector of the city. Uh, um, can I go? Certainly. But be careful. I have managed to get you back on your feet, but I have not healed you fully. Alas, sooner or later, your pain will return. Your pain will return. But do not be discouraged. I really you like turning to recover, voice. I promise you that. Tomorrow, come to the cathedral and say that you are expected by Terendalev, protector of Canabras. We will find a way to help you. But for now, Put this out of your mind and enjoy the festival. They Ooh, are all too rare in this time of war, and merriment is one of the best medicines. Okay, merriment it is. It's a city poised on the border between two worlds. On one side, the ordinary world inhabited by ordinary 
Oh gosh, man. I'm here so fast. If you need. When quest update, you'll see. Oh my gosh. Okay, clicking on the right, click the right mouse button on the spot where you need it. So we move around, move the camera, and they built rotation into the game. Yes. And if I remember my buttons here, we are going to put, we have shield, throw bombs, that's the important one, boost person, immunogen dex. Okay, so this gives the alchemist plus four bonus to dex. And I take a minus two penalty to wisdom. Okay. Okay. We're going to... Wait. Did I actually take the Smith spell? Um. Bomber's eye, targeted bombs, large person, reduced person, shield, ear wounds. True strike. So where did I get dismiss spell from? These are the ones I took. That I have dismiss spell here. it over here we don't have any weapons yet they took all of our weapons but I can throw bombs they let me carry my bombs apparently uh, what do I have in my inventory I have engrave lucky bracers these bracers grant the wearer plus one luck bonus to AC and a plus one luck bonus and I have studded leather okay okay oh and I got some alchemist fire and one potion. Uh, where's my belt? Belt. She's not going to be doing any charging. She may do a coup de gras and the treat affliction, demoralize, inspire rage. This ability allows the character to accept effects of inspire rage if it's disabled. Okay. If we ever have a scald. Okay, so let's see what are we supposed to do now. Follow my steps. Uh, what's my journal say? My journal says, have fun. Uh, sample the fetch the drink, throw a dart, hit the mannequin. Let's look around. Training mannequin, darts. Horgus is over here. Oh, okay. let's go talk to Horgus. The mannequin, where do I get a drink? Okay, you can right click various objects such as doors, chests by right clicking on them, some special objects with an icon above them. Hold tab. Yeah, I want to just toggle that. We might have to check the mod and see.
you a drink? We're gonna see if we can reverse these controls. Here we go, controls. Um, e. E. Q. Y. Look right. I want to look left. Okay. Uh, let's go hit this. <laughs> My character is not really about punching. Damn! Right in the jaw. You call that a punch? Uh oh. Behold, Crusader of Gods, behold, anime, you poor impostor, your city will fall to me, your followers will feed my hunger. Oh, he was talking, I wasn't the same. Reading. They took my weapons, so there's not much I can do. Oh gosh, I clicked away. Oh, here's Ten, ten bro. She's gonna save today. Uh oh. Oh, she really is a dragon. Okay. Oh. 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 That's not gonna help me tomorrow. Discari's here. Discari himself. Blimey. One minute we had a dragon, the next, bam, she was gone. The halfling's armor is splashed with blood, and he is armed with teeth and sword and blade. And hatch on his belt. The plus comes back. His voice sounds familiar with you. Why does his voice sound familiar to me? I, I've seen you somewhere before. Yeah, you have. You owe me your life. I'm the one who found you outside the walls and brought you inside to be healed. I see they patched you up. Okay. Good well, thing thanks, they did dude. it before the attack, or else you'd have been done for. Uh, I think I've heard of Discari, but who is he? You must have got a good drum around the head, friend. Discari's yeah, a head. demon lord. The most fearsome enemy of all crusaders and all living things, come to think of it. Uh... <laughs> I think I'm gonna look for a way to get out of here. Give me that protective spell. Uh, lend me a weapon. Lend me a weapon. Sure thing. Here, take this. Best My mother would be I've upset got. if I ran away. The person who made it said it could pierce the heart of a demon lord, even. Oh, well, okay. There's, Good there's... luck. Try not to get eaten now. I hope this guy survives. Run away, little. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, I should have run away, but... A mortal gnat snaps its jaws at the Lord of Locusts. Oh. Okay, well, I shot at him. Behold, I am My bomb. The death I saw. Devoured by darkness. The silver dragon Terendalev, the defender of Canabras, fell in battle. Hardly surprising, as she had to fight the demon lord Discari himself. He willed the land to part and swallow all who dared to stand in his way. But the war was still far from over. Yeah, but I really liked her voice. 
Ooh. All right, let's see if I can get my headphones to work now. See if they're working. Okay, well, they're working. Let's see if we can get to Discord. Hello? If my Discord is working. Yay, my Discord's working. Okay. Ah, we fell into a pit. Let's see. Um. Okay, game save. We're paused. I don't see anything. Let us be careful. Keep around. Ooh. There's a body. Look at the body. Ah, uh, survivors. Oh, holy mother of A woman with messy brown hair winces in pain, uttering a stream of curses through her clenched teeth. She's pinned to the ground by a couple of weighty, weighty boulders. Well, Sorry, lady. Hey, hey, stay with me. You actually got pretty lucky. You fell down into a black hole. But at least you're not on your own. You've got a great companion. Everything's going to be just fine. Tell me something. Can you feel your legs? I feel them all right. When say no to a little less feeling in them. My ankle's killing me. But my back seems to still be in one piece. My head, too. Okay. I like all this voice acting. This is great. That's all that matters. Now, we're going to... Hey! Fancy meeting you down here. Spot You're the one that Terenda left healed today, right? You aren't injured, are you? Will you help me get her out from under the boulders? Yeah, the only problem is they have a descriptive text inside of the paragraphs being read to you. Like the dialogue. But there's no narrator narrating the descriptive text, so I want to read it, but I read slower than they're speaking, <laughs> so... Uh, why should we help her? Okay, no, I'm not that. Uh, World 12? We don't have to rely on brute strength for this. I'll find something to use as a lever. That's, that sounds like what I would do. I remade my character from Kingmaker. Oh, either this. Uh, my, yeah, my alchemist, my grenadier alchemist. Uh, frequent. Okay, I don't understand why I failed that skill check. That seemed like. I feel like I should have passed that. There was no, I don't see a roll anywhere on that. I don't think you're going to get anywhere with that. Why don't I just... Maybe it's... Maybe it's just like by default always fails that one. Oh, damn it all. I think it's broken. Oh well, I've had worse. I'll just make myself a splint out of something. <laughs> Thanks for the help. <laughs> I wouldn't have lasted long on my like own stuck under there. Like a splint something. I'm a Nevia Tiravade of the Eagle Watch. And I was overseeing security at the Festival Square. I thought maybe spies or demon worshippers might have something nasty planned. What actually happened, though? Now that I did not see coming. Oh, I like her. I don't her. think anyone could have been prepared for that. Well, I'm Sila. Paladin by the grace of Iomade, I crossed the whole continent to come to Mendev and fight demons. And well, I've been fighting for a while now. <laughs> I don't even want to think what might be happening up there in the city. Canabres has lost the protection of Terendelev, and of the Wardstone too, looks like. This is going to be slow going, Dusty. Slow going. It was placed this game's going to be slow going because I want to listen to all the dialogue. The <laughs> I really wanted to go see it, to pray before it. In beta and no alpha, I skipped almost all of it just because I wanted to check the, the gameplay. 
Uh... Yeah, things are looking grim enough, but don't lose heart. Wardstone or no, dragon or no, Canabrace will never give in. Simple as. Well, we've introduced ourselves. What about you? Hmm. Uh... See, what best represents me? My my backstory is my character in Kingmaker, Cytra the First, is a lady of the Stolen Lands, and uh, she rules that kingdom now, and uh, years have passed, and I'm her daughter, and I have come to, con to come see the world wound and see if we can offer assistance. So I'll say that. I'm a scholar. I came here to see the world wound with my own eyes. <laughs> Didn't you pick a great spot to do your research? I know what you scholar types are like. When it comes to your intellectual curiosity, you just don't see danger. Yep, and maybe. We're not sure. She might, more not. she might not. more danger than anywhere else. She worships the... I had to pick a deity, which I didn't have to do in Kingmaker because I wasn't, you know, a divine caster. Um, so this character uh, worships the, the god of magic, has the... Power of create like a healing in one hand or life in one hand and destruction in the other. They're both bombs. She's uh neutral good. You should be glad we still got scholars who want to come here to study our enemies and not just stay home to count the spots on butterflies. Oh, I'm not just here to study them. I'm here to blow them up. <sighs> Now then, I'll hobble my way out of here somehow. The city ain't far, only 30 paces or so. That's if you're going straight up, of course. I'm afraid we're gonna have to go the long way round. Okay, I, I love these characters, which is good. So far, the first couple of characters, the voices they got for them, um, and because I saw their portraits for a long time. They've been the same portraits, but... Um, having a voice to go with them really helps build their character. Now, I don't know if their stats are any good, but... To summarize, there are three of us with five working legs, three <laughs> pairs of decent hands, two clear heads, and one made of wood. <laughs> That's mine. Underground monsters, beware! <laughs> Anevia, you stay behind us. You're in no fit state to fight. If All right, let's go. Uh, your party now has several characters, so select one of them, blah, 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 select several characters. Okay, we got that. Good. Standard. Right now, I'm on, I'm, I'm in real time with pause right now, and I'm wondering if I should try just going full turn base, but I'm not playing on a hard difficulty, so. Yeah, uh, there are times when I want full turn base because when I replayed Kingmaker with the turn base mod, it was so fun. Uh, and I played through the beta in some turn base modes to try it out, and it it's exactly what me and you would like. It's like, okay, I'm gonna move, and then you're gonna move, but the combats are slow to a crawl, so which okay, so. Yep. Yeah, I think, uh, okay, so how do I bring up the, the mod menu? I want to bring up my mod menu and see if this one has a, here we go, object highlight toggle mode. That's what I want. Hopefully this will work. Because, let's see, yes, perfect. They have the thing where it's like you, you hold tab and it highlights everything that can be interacted with. But the cheat mod has the thing where I can tap tab and then it turns it on and off. Containers, you'll find lots of objects. See what's inside. Okay. Good, good. Our duty calls. Ooh, cooker of resistance. Longs. Oh my gosh, we got all sorts of goodies in here. This is like a weapon chest somebody left behind. Nah, uh, what am I saving for? 
three six three. He probably can be okay. Actually, you know, we'll, we'll try. Yeah. Loot. Tread lightly. Um, that seems suspicious. There's just a thing on the ground that says loot. Ah, uh, Terendal of Scale. You restore life to a deceased party member. Ooh. I'm gone. What are you doing here? Who's there? The final tale of this young half elf woman is torn and stained with blood, dust, and dirt. She holds herself a dignity that would be forgiven for thinking you were at a high society party in the dark cattle. Okay. okay, oh yeah, this is Camille. Relax, we're in the friend. We're, we're not demons or cultists. Don't poke my eye out with that thing, all right? We fell down here during the attack. I'm Sila, that's Anevia, and this is our new friend. We're looking for a way back friend, to the surface. We don't know your name. Really? I'm so ever glad to hear it. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Camellia. I was also in the square when. when. I can scarcely believe it. Mm. How did all those demons get into the city? I thought. Demons get into the city. Ugh. Naively, it now seems that the Wardstone protected us from attack. And Terendalev, I can't wrap my head around it. Not many could withstand a strike from a demon lord, not even Terendalev. I can't argue with that. We're fortunate to be alive, albeit underground. Daskari himself has come to Canabras. There's no mistaking that ugly mug. Terendalev tried to fight him, but what could she do against a near deity? Even the Wardstone was no help. Our city used to be protected by powerful forces, but now... My character. Hmm. We've I need the knowing nod that's truly you, are. from Final Fantasy. Henceforth, we shall have no one mm -hmm. but ourselves to rely on, I suppose. Uh, what happened to this poor man? I don't know. He must have been in the square when disaster struck. I tried to revive him, but he was already dead, sadly. He didn't get these wounds from the fall. Be on your guard! Whatever killed him likely hasn't gone far. Hang on. I think I know him. His name's Aravashniel, the egghead from the library. He was a good lad, even if he was kind of stuck up. May his soul rest in peace. Hey, Camellia, tell me more about yourself. Who am I? Just an ordinary citizen who decided to take a stroll through the square on the day of the festival. But that's not what you wish to know, is it? You most likely wish to know whether I'll be a burden should you ask me to join your group. No need to worry about that. I can assure you Ugh, that I am that skilled with the rapier. Headphones are and I also possess some knowledge up. of magic. Keep turning off automatically. Yep. Hold on, everybody.
Let's see if that works. I moved them into a different USB spot. Hopefully that will, they were low on power. So I plugged them in and I'm guessing it's trying to charge and. Oh boy. Okay. Let's see. Where was I? Do you want to join us, Camellia? Certainly. Survivors should stick together. It's only sensible. Who knows what else could be prowling about in these caves? That's right. It would be the height of foolishness to survive a demon attack okay. only to perish under so a far, pile of rubble. So far, I've got a rubble. group that I just want to keep and together forever. They're great. Let's see if this poor bloke has anything useful on him. Not to. <sighs> okay, she can cure light wounds. What's on your mind? I wonder. Some spell over there. Uh, a large person there. Let us bide our time. This person there. I'll watch your back. A bright future awaits us. Well. Okay, I guess they want me to heal her. Have her heal herself. Is that what they want? Okay. Ghost touch weapon deals damage normally against regardless of it. I understand that. Oh, I see. Okay, so she can enchant her weapon. That's kind of handy. She can just enchant her own weapon temporarily. Yeah, and then she can spend that one point of the enhancement to grant the weapon Ghost Touch, which lets it deal damage to incorporeal creatures, which is pretty nice. You know, currently, right now, she only has a plus one enhancement bonus on it, so basically be like converting it from being an Chant and enhance to being able to hit in corporal, but later she'll get more bonuses to it. So. Okay, let's see where where's our party management thing that tells us where our order is. Actually, let's move up a little. Got a cold iron rapier. All right. Follow my steps. Ooh. I'll cut you wide open. The road awaits. You can trust me. Together, we stand. They will break against our resolve. Hey! Okay. 
All right. Now we just pop those centipedes. Coins, probably. Well, sure. Need like a select all button. Oh, there it is. Let's find the hotkey for that. Select all. We I shall not fail. Let's head out. Oh, another scale. Be careful, everyone. The spirits demand your blood. Jeez, Camilla is like the spirits demand your blood. Okay. Let's see what we got on the map. Okay, we got fork in the road. Take a look. Into the fray. Save the last one. Oh, am I throwing bombs automatically? I don't want to do that. Yeah, why is she throwing bombs automatically? Shoot her crossbow automatically. That's okay. But I don't want her we throwing her bombs. I heed the voice of the spirit. Magnesium Turinos. Here, rainbow quartz and flame top. Let us be careful. Ooh. Okay, we need to save. Attack! Our duty calls. Aim carefully! The heartbeat quickens! The world in crimson! Let us bide our time. Oh. Forwards! We are the light! They are the darkness! He can I'm turn gone. damage. Uh. Oh. Her. 
follow my steps. They will not expect my strike. I don't know why they don't have a hotkey for Let's stealth. Head out. Not that I'm doing much stealth. Our <laughs> group is kind of like stomping through everything. There's I'm a building up here. Look. Let us be careful. Let's be careful. No, I can't just walk away. It's got to be here somewhere. Windowog! Windowog. Good name. Lan, did you find it? Who is that? The do-gooders here to save our mongrel souls, no doubt. Wait. They might know what's going on up there. Uh... Old demons are laying waste. Can I if things are as bad as you say, then we all have to hurry. You didn't come from the direction of the shield maze. Damn it. I couldn't care less about what's happening on the surface, but the maze. I realize that you guys have your own troubles, but we need to be in Canabras. People are dying up there. Please, show us the way out. What is this place? This is the hall where we remember the glory of our forebears. Sorry Ugh. about the mess. Uh, it doesn't usually look like this, trust me. Sometimes we even wipe the dust off the exhibits. Don't like games, and they tend to be Unity games again, where if you click outside of the game window, the game just disappears from the screen. Yep. It makes me crazy. Like you're in full screen window. What what part of like continue to stay up? Like I didn't tell you to close. This it's gotta be a like unity thing that they're not addressing. <laughs> Somebody isn't. <laughs> Uh, this is the hall where I'm okay. He said all that. This is where the relics of the first crusade. Every time I play, I play and I play through the beginning part. I always end up quickly forgotten. Fighting. You have to. This you basically end up siding with one or the other of these characters. We are just as worthy as anyone else. And I really want to side with this other character for a change, but that will put me vain. down a path that I am not gonna like for this run. So. <laughs> The first Crusaders? You've been down here that long? That's crazy. That's none of your bit. I'm thirsty. And I need something to drink. Friday. We're looking for a holy sword. It was here, in the center, sticking out of a rock. The sooner we find it, the better. Some kids from our tribe took off for the shield maze. Mm. They figured it had collapsed, and now it's their time to go up to the surface, like all the legends foretold. Oh. Except they don't have a clue what's waiting for them up there. They're not fighting. Yeah, I might not. I'm probably going to so end up not the chief streaming of our tribe is everything dead set in this against game, it. because there's just going to be so much that of it. That now isn't the time for the underground crusaders to take up arms. <sighs> If we get the holy oh my gosh, sword, these headphones. we might be able to change the chief's mind. Just gonna unplug them. Something about this plug. <laughs> it's a fool's errand. None of us will be able to hold the sword, let alone use it to save anyone. It's not an ordinary weapon. It's made from righteous heavenly flame and will burn anyone. Oh, it's a special sword, Dusty. Oh, thinking of special swords. Special uh, did you see the Wheel of Time trailer? Oh, uh, yeah, they're they're taking a lot of liberties and 
also, uh, I didn't get through all the Wheel of Time books. I got to like book six, and then, and then, and I was listening to them on audiobook, and they were like forty-hour books, you know. So, um, I, well, it was a combination of reading and audio, but they. Uh, and then, did you watch that trailer I posted in Discord? That movie looks so bad. Oh man, Josh message. He is so excited about. It. He's like, I'm gonna be there day one. I'm like, what? I was like, Ugh. I'll pick it up with my teeth but. and tie it to my hand if I have to. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. An angel's sword and a troop of stalwart mongrels will be able to work a minor miracle. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, you're still here, Wendu, which means that deep down. You know it's possible. Jeez. Out of ammo. Uh, Sword of Holy Flame? How did it wind up down here? It came here with its owner. A long time ago. 50,000 gongs to be precise. Seventy years ago, in Uplander time. Fifty thousand gongs ago, our forebears found a dead angel here, along with the bodies Ow. of his comrades. Okay. The tribe gave them a dignified burial, and they were laid to rest with their weapons. But the flaming angelic sword was stuck in a rock, and no one was able to pull it out. It burned to the they stuck the sword like in a stone, fire. and now they can't pull it out. So the rock was placed over the angel's grave. It should I be here just, somewhere. How does it keep happening? Oh yeah, hey, you should uh, look at my stream and see if my face looks uh, a little better with the light now. Um, I'm hoping it, I mean, I'm not burning up from the heat from my overhead light, so. And it doesn't look like it's reflecting too much, so. It, yeah. Yeah, that is. No, that's a green screen behind me. Yeah, yeah, watch, uh, here, we'll do this, watch. Uh, options. And that should, uh, bring... Oh, you can't really tell, but see, I can come over. Which side is the screen on? Then we lean one way, lean the other way. Whoa, I'm in front of this, in front of the... I can never remember which direction's what. But I just have it positioned down, my, my camera down in my, in the corner of the screen, so... I think it looks better... And that is, uh, just for fun, that is 15% brightness. <laughs> the thing is so freaking bright. Yeah, if I go to 30%, uh, let's see here. There it goes. No, it's not that bad, actually. It's just really bright. Like, it actually, I think it looks better. Um, and then 50%, will probably blow me out. My camera's going to have to auto-adjust. So, but now I can't see anything because it's just this giant light there, but... Yeah, it's it's basically looking into it. Um, but yeah, at 15% and it's back and the... It's so far back. I mean, it's... My desk is four feet wide. Um... I think three and a half feet wide. And so where I'm sitting, I'm sitting, you know, a good four feet from it. And it's another, it'd be, it's behind my camera, almost a foot and a half, two feet. So, and then way up high. Um, when I had the camera mounted in the middle of the light, it, I had to lower the light down, which meant it was more in my eyes as opposed to up above me. So, but yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad it looks better to you because to me, I was like, "Well, it looks better to me," but I'm not sure how it translated across the internet. So, 
but it and during the day when I was trying I didn't get a chance I didn't have any meetings today so I almost just called somebody just to be like hey how do I look because normally normally in the morning the sun's coming in my front window here and it comes in kind of behind me off to the right and I don't have a green screen usually on for work but I have some light but in the afternoon the sun's on the other side of the house and it gets kind of dim in here and it really was annoying to have to turn the overhead light on in the middle of the afternoon so all right well let's Maybe go find the their sword will dig himself out and find the sword for us that might be Len, hey maze does it really yes. leave the surface there are other ways up but they are far from here and after the earthquakes there's a good chance they've collapsed but oh the God. maze there's a legend among our people that when the walls of the maze fall, that will be a signal for us, the underground crusaders, that the time has come to go up to the surface and fight the demons in the final confrontation. You're supposed to be fighting the demons. <laughs> Until then, go. the people say the maze is shielding us from taking rash actions. I'm the only one in our whole tribe to have been in the maze. And even I don't know if it's true. But the further I went in the maze, the fresher the air became. That means that No, my character does not have a voice. Well, she has like a uh you know, like in combat she says things when she interact yeah. So I'm her voice, but right right now and they always show the character on the left on the screen for me i don't know if it's for you uh the one character on one side is the redhead is me and that's currently who's being talked to and the character on the right is the one doing the talking um when the ceiling and walls started shaking the young ones in our tribe lost their heads they figured the maze was going to collapse so it was time to go up to the surface they grabbed whatever weapons were on hand and ran off toward the maze they think the maze is no longer a danger to them. They've been listening to Wendwog too much. Wendwog. Don't try to blame this on me. Yes, I told them that our people are capable of making our way through the maze. In the future. But I always <laughs> told, told them, them to the wait future. until I had made a map of all the maze's dangers. I warned them a hundred times. But it was no use. My words just went in one ear and out the other. Okay. Um, are you tieflings? Tieflings are the descendants of people who sullied themselves by mating with demons. Our ancestors would never sink that low. We are I mean, you the have spider arms coming out of your back, lady. The children of the Crusades' finest. Sadly, Underground Crusaders is a bit of a mouthful, so people usually just call us mongrels. <laughs> you just love repeating that, don't you, Lan? Mongrels. That's what the Uplanders call us. But we call ourselves Neethers. Neethers is a cool word. No matter what you call us, it's not going to stop our horns, hooves, or tails from growing. Why do you? Oh my gosh! Yeah, this is and this is all the info dump at the beginning. I've never heard of underground crusaders before. In Canabras, they're called mongrels. People yeah, say he that just they told come us that. To the surface at night and eat anyone foolish enough to wander alone after midnight. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I thought you guys were just a tale to tell kids at night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's human gratitude for you. Our forefathers suffered the consequences of demonic corruption, all to protect Mendev and Golarion. And for what? So we could become monsters used to frighten children. Okay, so these people, these first, these crusaders were... Uh, have their, their, their appearances are not from mating. They're, you know, with demons. They're a demonic corruption. That's interesting. Every mongrel has their own take on it. Our chief, for example, thinks of us as something like a reserve military force. 
He thinks we're standing by until the moment we're needed, and when we emerge on the surface and save the day, all the people will see how good we are, and they'll love us for it. <laughs> they'll love us for it. Yeah, he leaves that last part out when he talks about it, of course, but it's easy enough to read between the lines. Okay, well, I'm not gonna... <laughs> My evil playthrough is going to be uh, monsters like you don't deserve to live. <laughs> but uh, we'll find that we'll help you. An extra pair of eyes can only help. The sword will be easy enough to spot. It looks uh, swordy. Help us, and in return, we'll get you out of here. All right, we'll find your face, sword. <laughs> now we're talking. Let's get to work. It's a good thing we all bumped into each other, isn't it? Ha <laughs> ha wink wink nudge what? nudge. you want to find the sword quickly so the underground monsters bring you back to the surface. So be it. Okay, so some interactive objects aren't easy to find. Moving past such an object, every character will automatically make sure to and check. The successful will be found in highlight. Okay. Name is Kingmaker. This one we already... Ooh, lore religion counts. Quick save, we're gonna save scum like crazy. Okay. Completed. It's actually of an unknown knight. The technique is crude, but the figure was clearly crafted with gen genuine feeling. Judging by the style of armor, the knight is from the first crusade. Okay. Check result was 23. DC 17. Okay. Or edible moss. Now what is that? Something here. Eh? Okay. I found. Mm, uh, I bet it's the one. Something. Ooh, oh. What's that there? I like how Tread like all these things I uncovered are yellow. I spotted something. Except for the one that's white. I wonder if that's the one that the sword is in. Yeah, that one's purple. It, 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 it turns purple when it was hidden and then becomes a yellow outline. But this one in the back here, I went and looked around first, and now I'm going to collect everything. Follow my steps. I'll show you. One up top here. Yellow, yellow. Yeah, it is really dark. I don't have any light spells. Let's we should prepare. See what happens if I do this? The road awaits. Is that, or is it the stream being dark? Let's see. Pathfinder. Other correction? How's that? Oh, wait, I did it. Okay, I just threw a gamma filter on it. For, so on my screen, it looks fine, but, but yeah, you see how this top pile is kind of got a white outline? All the other ones had a yellow outline. Like, hmm, I wonder which one has this. I, I bet. <laughs> oh. Now, nobody's been able to touch the sword. It's made of holy flame. Oh, strange. See, this should have been narrated by a narrator. A strange flash pierces the gloom, and Sytra feels drops of searing blood run down her chest. The wound. Healed by Tenadrelv, reopens. Weeps scarlet, but there's no pain or weakness. A hazy scene appears, cave chamber. This one, or another one entirely. Sytra's heartbeat quickens. The stream of thoughts suddenly bursts into her mind. Thoughts that clearly belong to another. Treachery! They betrayed me, trapped me, stabbed me in my back. My trusted allies, my treasured friends, the people I swore to protect. The people from whom I descended from heaven and came to this turbulent mortal world. They, there they are, up ahead, in the gloom of the cave. 
What are they waiting for? Are they afraid to draw closer? Do they believe I'm about to die from their traitor's blows? Next to me, a quiet moan. A girl with a golden braid lies on the rocks, clutching her slashed side. She refused to join with the traitors and paid for it dearly. I could have tried to run, but I will not. With I still have the strength I must. Okay, recognizing the foreign origin of these thoughts, Citra intuits that she can control them some. I would say that in to it into it let's try to oh we can I can control the thoughts somehow uh yeah we're gonna heal the wounded girl a spark of healing and magic illuminates the eerie murky scene before Sartre the wounded girl opens her eyes and whispers Lario you you said everything was gonna change soon you said you and the other warriors of heaven would leave us would be leaving us on a grand mission to leading yeah leaving us on a grand mission to stop the demons forever is that true a frenzy of foreign thoughts come faster and faster like a rushing river the images flash by one another a priestess in colorful robes of ring stars a young female paladin praying clutching a glowing sword a majestic golden winged angel gazing into the distance his face covered by a helmet but his face ringing clear only if you are willing and only if you are ready. There is no going back. Then don't waste your strength healing me, the girl whispers. Your mission is too important. You take care. It is near. Okay, so we couldn't change things. There in the vision, the darkness in the cave stirs into motion. Something massive appears from within. So it's a vague shadow and outline. A nightmare come to life. Okay, a wave of was chirp, chirruping, chirruping. And rustling emanates from the shadow, the sound piercing like hot irons lancing through flesh and bone. The traitors fall to their knees before the shadow in reverent ecstasy, and the wounded girl thrashes in her death throes. Okay, will save. Uh, Citra is determined to fight off the illusion. Citra knows how to resist malign influence such as this, no matter the origin. Mm. Okay, I definitely have a better shot at that. The force of the attack, though originating in a vision, is terrifying, but Saitra is stronger. She shakes off the pain and torpor. But alas, the one who sent the vision cannot claim the same. He is broken and exhausted. No, a monstrous shadow emerges from the murk in the cave. It is not real. It exists only in this strange vision or memory. But the thrill of fear it provokes is more than real. The shadow's murky... The shadow's features starkly resemble those of Daskari, the terrifying demon lord, okay, the one that, that killed the dragon. In a movement as swift as thought itself, the monster's hand is wrapped around the throat of the one they called Lario. Foolish angels struggling on the rocks like a fly with its wings torn off intones the shadow. Its voice changes when it moves, shifting from quiet whispering to a sonorous shout, becoming young, then old, then quavering. Where is your goddess, Angel? Where is her self-assured herald? How is it that you are dying here alone so far from the light of your heaven? And calm, Lariel. He recognizes who stands before him, and he knows he will never bow down before the enemy. The flaming sword flares a life in his hand, pure, bright, pure, flickering with multicolored sparks like a sunbeam through stained glass. The blade slices through the demonic creature's flesh, and the monster recoils with a howl. Releasing his grip, the angel falls back heavily on the rocks, his vitality ebbing, but his pride remains undiminished. He grips the sword, and with his last burst of strength, he plunges it into the rock. Ah, so that's how it got into the rock. Sytra senses the vision fading, the rush of thoughts diminishing like a river running dry. The last thing she hears is this. You will kill me, monster. I know this. But one day, someone will come here. Raise up my sword. They will raise up and... Punish evildoers and traitors? Or serve, save, and protect the innocent? Ooh. Mmm. Oh, well, my evil character. But this is my goody too. She, she's here to... Her mother would be upset if she... Although she did try to heal first. So maybe now she punishes. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do it. Punish evildoers and traitors. 
The vision disappears, vanishing in the burst of color. Saitra does not hear the final words, but she seems to complete the thought. Taking it to heart, the words fly from her lips. With them, something else, the heat blazing in Saitra's chest fades away. The edge of the scarlet wound close. The edges of the scarlet wound close, leaving not even a scar behind. Looking down, Saitra sees the flaming sword in her hand, or rather an outline, the memory of what the sword looked like. With the final surge of warm and soothing light, the sword vanishes, and the light is drawn into her hand. Saitra senses that it will return. All she needs to do is call it. Um, I found your sword. <laughs> hey, are you all right? You were kind of glowing just now. <laughs> Sayla kneels down before the light, offering up a prayer to Iomed. That, that was it. The light of heaven. But how? Um, I am your savior. Bow down before me. What did you do with it? Where did it go? You saw it too? The traitors and the dying girl? It's only us here. Your group. You, me, Wendu, and the light of heaven that sort of got, uh, sucked into you? <laughs> Any chance you can whip it out again? We do kind of need it. Um, oh, hey, 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 um, I don't know if I should be whipping things out. Sorry, I crack jokes when I get nervous, and when I'm upset, and when I'm happy. A anyway, what I said, it came out wrong. Okay, okay. We you need recognize to bring you that. We You can show everyone the light of heaven, we'll rally the tribe, and go into the maze, and we'll get back our kin. Okay, well, sounds good. And what if she can't make it happen a second time? What then? The tribe will just say we're crazy and turn its back on us. Oh, look at this. It requires angelic angel myth path so I guess I can start down the angelic path here uh, I don't know if I want to be an angel but I will say I uh yeah but I, 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 it's going to let me choose it now so um I'm gonna say it seems I can control it. Because even if I don't go down the angelic path. That is just. Wow, I mean, that's amazing. Heaven has truly blessed you. Yes, 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 it has. This power is the most majestic thing I've ever seen in all my life. Is this what the sun is like, Lan? Yes, it's similar, but this light is more... golden? Chief Sol needs to see this. Now that we have the power of angels on our side, he can't say no. He'll have to assemble a troop to storm the maze. Okay. You Uplanders care about your kids, right? Help us save <laughs> no. ours. No, Without we don't them, care we won't kids. survive. And then, the perils of the maze won't be so bad if we go together. We'll make our way through it and find the way to Canabras. I think I saw the memories of Lariel, the angel who died here. Lariel? That Lariel. really was Lariel? The angel from the legends. The ancestors even got his name right on the gravestone. The chief will be <laughs> thrilled. We're going to find out that the mongrels are actually the descendants of the traitors. Yeah. You... Thousands of gongs, and no one's been able to touch it. And now you, an ordinary creature of flesh and blood no different to us, get the sword and start talking about visions. Uh, she's not jealous. Now, now, Wendoag, don't be a sore loser. She is clearly different from us. That's right. The sword appeared before her, along with the angel's name and all that other stuff. Because she doesn't carry our mongrel taint. Heaven doesn't give a damn how special we are. We're born with evil inside us. Heaven doesn't need to know any more than that. Well, I don't know if it's that, but... I know you're willing to tear anyone apart to uphold our people's honor, but... You and Sol, you just refuse to face the truth. 
We are the way we are because our ancestors' bodies were corrupted by the Abyss. It does the same thing to plants and animals. There's nothing heroic or special about it. It doesn't make us better, and it doesn't make us worthier. Okay, lead me to your chief. Let's go. We'll take the short route. Well, the only route, really. <laughs> Please. Okay. Am I going to have to actually walk, or are we just going to get teleported there? Sometimes interacting with an object requires a skill check. Yeah, figure that out. Where are we going? Oh, they all joined us. Meditate on your mistakes. Where do okay. you make you there. feel better? Oh, here we go. Mobility. The mongrel did it. Most of the game's mechanics are based on the rules of the tabletop RPG, which uses dice. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to go over the letter character land got a result of 27. This result is the sum of the dice roll, which was 20 in various modifiers. Okay, thanks. Give me that. So we made it across. We cannot rest here. I'm not trying to rest here. Oh, my hand was in the wrong spot. Oh, that's a... That's a Giant spider. Um, what can land do? Yeah. Uh, well, I have that. I have that thing turned on. So yes, it, it says he's carrying a placard. He's got a. He's got a name tag. You've crossed the <laughs> wrong mark. I am yours. He graduated. Point blank shot. Do I need to turn point blank shot on? Yeah. Okay. Um. I'll rip you apart! Wow, okay, Wendig. You just do that. I shall not fail. What's on your mind? I wonder. We will win this war. Do not fear! Do not waver! Oh, there's another one. We wrecked them. You can choose to take a minus four penalty on attack rolls. In combat maneuver checks to gain a plus two dodge bonus to your armor class. Yes. I will help where I can. Yeah, but we we just wrecked those spiders. What's this? Loot. Ah, oh, we found some shrooms. Let's head out. Over right here. Okay, more inflict light wounds. Coin. Oh, she's, yeah, she's got a solid plan. Watch each other. The performance is lacking. You are lacking. The light take you. When we have a full group, these little low level things just get wrecked. Can we go over here? Is there something over here? Let us be careful. I found Whoa. something. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop. Where's the stop button? Stop. What's the hotkey for that G? Enemy near. Okay. You attack. That one. You that won't one. survive no me. No match for me. Why can't I? They'll beg me to stop. Yeah. What do we got here? Okay. Every attack and combat falls. Is you know that already? Ooh, masterwork great sword. Too bad we have nobody in our team that's using two hundred defense right now. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna put the mask. Old iron spear. Like crossbow. I don't. Wait, why is he like? Oh, he's a monk. That's right. So putting that on him is not gonna do any good. But we will give him. Off our ring. 
Ooh, okay, masterwork like crossbow. There we go. Can anybody use this comma? These are the things I'm going to save to sell. Oh. That's just a regular old short spear. That's going to get thrown away. Same with this light mace. I have a feeling those are just not going to make it out of this dungeon. They're going to end up on the ground. Here, you can have the train. Okay. I think we made it. Okay, Wendig glances at Lan, who is fixing his slipped bowstring, and quickly walks over to you. Her cat-like eyes glow from beneath her hood. It's in here, you. I don't know who you are or where you're from, but you and I are the only two people here who see things clearly. That's why I'm asking you, don't show the light of heaven to Saul. Um... Lan is sure that the light of heaven should be shown to the Mongols. Lan? He wants to play with the hero. He wants to play the hero. His first idea, if you remember, was to grab the sword and run headlong into the maze. Does that sound like a plan to you? It sounds like suicide. The worst part is the tribe might actually take his words to heart and follow where he leads. But you considered the Mongols to be great warriors. Descendants of great warriors. I believe my people are worthy of greatness. That we are strong can do many things, but that's why we were chased down here. We scared people. But that's one thing to go hunting in the caves, and another thing to fight in the shield maze. I've been there. I've spent my whole life training so I can make it through all the way to the end. There are more. There were more of us trackers at the start. We were young and stupid. What's a couple more monsters when the whole world's out there waiting for us? That's what we thought. We weren't prepared. The maze isn't just a physical challenge. It's cunning and full of traps. It's dark. It's primordial night. If you close your eyes and listen, you'll hear the whispers right behind you. Soft singing in the distance. And it seems to rise and fall. The beating of your heart. Wow, this place. I had to learn from my friend's mistakes. I had to step over their bodies and go further. I don't want to do have to do that again. And it will happen again if a crowd of ill-prepared fighters burst in the maze. Well, don't you want to save the kids? I want to, but I'm going to risk the future of stupid kids. The chief soul is hesitant, and for good reason. He understands how dangerous it is for the tribe. Land's the only one who benefits from these childish games of heroism. I'll go alone if I have to and find them, or whatever is left of them, without any heroics, relying on myself, risking my own life. You and your friends, you can come with me. Perhaps we can make it to the end of the maze together. Okay, so that's where she gives you, gives us her plea. And it's not really an evil plea. Like, she doesn't come off as evil. She comes off as, hey, Land's being childish. And actually, let's look at her character. Only say. you deserve my obedience. She's neutral evil. Okay, well, sorry, Wendig. Uh, how do I leave? Here we go. 